Then again, I live here now, so probably not. My partner and I fled America, mostly because the dreams of this man had never been realized. Because the hippie counterculture that we were born into doesn't exist anymore. Because anti-war somehow became a pejorative. Not all the dreams of 1960s America changed minds. Hippies believe mainstream would find the dreams of that preacher from Atlanta so groovy the old ways would vanish. The mainstream liked the old ways. They beat the fuck out of hippies for trying to change things. This guy, he loved beating hippies. The California governor who became America's 40th president. And suddenly, a new social order became evil, and neoliberalism, the great redeemer. He demonized striking workers, used astrology in his strategic planning, and sold the American dream to corporate interests. This was so far from I have a dream that by 2016, man, I needed a vacation. It was the Woodstock 50th celebrations that lured us back home in 2019, nothing else. I couldn't wait to see how 50 years of commodifying hippies might look in the cultural divide of modern day America. Within two years, I was right back where I started from, and this film is why. How many of me fell in love at the Haight-Ashbury Street Fair in 2007? We began performing acoustic versions of revolutionary songs from the 60s and 70s that very day. To us, it didn't seem at all like nostalgia. We both identified as genuine children of the revolution. Singing about peace and love and feeling groovy in conservative America actually felt more like a religious pilgrimage to us. Even through the COVID years, our message never changed. See beyond those media stereotypes and spread the truth that the dirty fucking hippies were right. It's the same truth Jimi Hendrix wrote about shortly after his now legendary performance at the 1969 Woodstock Festival. 500,000 halos outshined the mud in history. We washed and drank in God's tears of joy, but for once and for everyone, the truth was not still a mystery. We had to visit Woodstock and see what remained of that truth. One last opportunity, perhaps, to connect with our tribe. With America, you never know. Woodstock music, all this amazing stuff that's here right now. I don't want to let this go. It's like a piece of perfection. I realized right away, you know, this is going to be something big. This craziness that's going on now in the city is a just It will be a lot of fun for us to go back to the original site. Bringing a sense of maybe some hope back into the world that maybe we can save things if it's not too late.